Hi, this is Misty Johnson with the Zanesville Museum of Art and welcome to Material Exploration with Misty. So today we are going to be learning how to paint with modeling clay. And so when you think of modeling clay, you probably think of doing three dimensional objects, kind of like this little kitty here. And while modeling clay is a really fun sculpture material, you can also use it to make some pretty great two-dimensional things, which is what I'm going to show you today. So we are going to be learning how to paint with modeling clay. And so this entire landscape was made with modeling clay, and I'm going to show you how. And before we get started, if you don't have any modeling clay at home, I recommend the Go Create brand. You can actually get this pack of 20 colors uh, just at Walmart for $4. So it's a very inexpensive but really fun material. All right, so let's get started. So all you need to paint with modeling clay is a little bit of modeling clay, a pencil, and a piece of cardboard. And this can be anything. It can be a cereal box. You can see mine's a box of brownies. So guilty there. But so what we're going to do is we're going to use this to put our modeling clay painting on. So the first thing you want to do is come up with an idea. And so today I want to make a flower. So I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to draw kind of a simple flower on my cardboard. And you're going to cover all this up so it doesn't matter how dark you draw or if you mess up you can always just make a new line and know that no one's ever going to see it so here's my flower on my cardboard and so now we get to get to the fun part the clay painting so what you do is you get your modeling clay out when you first get it out a lot of times it's really hard so what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're just gonna squish it around in your hands for a really long time. You wanna warm it up and make it nice and soft. So you just squish, 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 squish until it's nice and soft and warm. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna choose where you wanna start on your design. So with me, I'm gonna start with the center of my flower here and I wanna make it yellow. So I'm gonna take just a teeny little bit of clay because a little bit goes a long way. And I'm just going to press it onto the cardboard like that, and then I'm gonna squish it around with my fingers. Squish, squish, squish. You see my, my cat wants to help me out with this, so you might hear her. <laughs> so you can squish, squish, squish. Hi, kitty. And so now I have the center of my flower done. See how simple that is? So now I wanna do a petal and I wanna make my flower purple because purple is my favorite color. And I'm gonna squish, squish, squish. Remember, this is a really important part because the more you squish it and warm it up, the easier clay will spread on your cardboard. So especially if you're doing really big areas, like with the sky here, you want it to be nice and warm so you can just spread and spread and spread. All right, so now I'm going to take just a little bit of purple, just a little teeny bit, and I'm gonna press that into the cardboard. So you see it's just kind of blobbed on there right now. Now I do the painting part. So I take my finger and I just spread, spread that all around on where I want my flower petal. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you can always go back and, and mess with it after, after you're all done. So now I have the purple where I want my flower petal to be. And what's fun is you can actually take your pencil and use that to create textures in your clay painting. So I'm going to use that just to make a few pretty little detailed textures on my, on my petal there. See that? And so... Now I'll show you 
like if you want to do a really big area in the background. So I'm going to make my background a lighter purple. So what I want to do is I don't want this to be the same color as my flower. I can actually mix colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take just a little bit of purple because I want it to be a really light purple. And I'm going to mix it with all of this white. And to mix colors, you just squish them together and then do just like we were doing when you're warming the clay. You just squish it and squish it and squish it until the colors blend together. So you squish, 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 squish. And you'll see that it gets a marbling effect. And maybe that's something you wanna use in yours and that's perfectly okay. So I'm gonna squish mine until I get this kind of marbly light purple. And I'm gonna use that for my background. And again, a little bit goes a long way. So I'm just gonna start with a little piece and stick it over here in my background and just start spreading. Spread, spread, spread. And it'll take a little while, so I'm not gonna do the whole background. I just wanted to show you how that would work if you wanted to do a large area like that. And just remember, a little bit goes a long way, and the more you spread it out, the more area you can cover. So there's the start of my background there. And again, you can always add textures into your background too, just like in this landscape, I made swirls in the sky. I just did that with my finger when the clay was still warm. So I just, just swirled it around and created textures like that. All right, so I hope you get the idea of clay painting. It's a lot of fun and it doesn't take a whole lot of materials. So uh, I hope you enjoy your clay painting. And um, if you do one at home, we would love to see it. So share it on our Facebook page. And tune in next week where I'm going to be working with um, scratch art that you can create at home. So thank you so much for tuning in for Material Exploration with Misty. And we'll see you next time.